So that showed that a general solution to the wave partial differential equation is given by the Alambert solution. U is f of x minus c star t plus g of x plus c star t for any twice differentiable functions f and g. And it's simply a matter of substituting this u into the equation. Now the equation's got these derivatives in t and x, so let's compute those derivatives. Firstly, let's look at du by dx. Differentiate this with respect to x, and what have we got? We've got f of something, so its derivative is f dashed of that something uh, times the derivative of that something with respect to x, uh, which here is just 1, plus the derivative of g dash g of its argument times the derivative of its argument with respect to x, which is 1. Right, the second derivative of u with respect to x, let me just differentiate this again. The derivative of f dashed is f double dashed of it, evaluated at its argument, times the derivative of what's inside with respect to x, which is 1 times that 1, which is 1 squared, which is 1, so we'll leave it out, plus the derivative of g dashed, so g double dashed, of x plus c star t, times the derivative of its argument with respect to x, so that derivative is 1, times this 1 is 1 squared, but 1 squared is 1, so we won't bother recording it. Okay, what about time derivatives? The u by dt is very similar. Derivative of f is f dashed of x minus c star t times the derivative of the argument with respect to t. But now that derivative is this constant minus c star. Then plus the derivative of g, so it's g dashed of x plus c star t times the derivative of its argument with respect to t, which is plus c star. And the second derivative with respect to time is similar. Differentiate f dashed, we get f double dashed of its argument, x minus c star t, then the derivative of this with respect to t is another minus c, so that's minus c star. Multiplying this one, so that's squared, Derivative of g dashed is g double dashed of x plus c star t times the derivative of its argument with respect to t, which is plus c star. So this is plus c star squared. Now let's see how it satisfies the differential equation. Look at this expression for the second derivative of u. You can see there is a common factor of c star squared coming from there and there outside of f double dash of x minus c star t plus of x plus c star t inside brackets. And this particular combination is what we've previously identified to be the second derivative of u. So we can say this is c star squared u x x and hence this wave PDE is satisfied by the Allen bear solution as long as we can differentiate f and g twice. And that's for any f and g. Now, um, f and g, these are sort of like arbitrary integration constants and they are determined by additional information. And for a wave problem, we might be given additional information such as the initial u is some specified function big F and the initial du by dt is zero. So let's have a look at the consequence of that. Firstly, let's have a look at u of x zero has to be capital F. Given that u is um, f of x minus c star t plus g of x plus c star t, it follows that u of x zero is f of x minus c star times 0 plus g of x plus c star times 0, which is 
f of x plus g of x. Um, and u of x zero has to be big F of x. So we now have an equation saying f plus g has to be big F. That's one equation for the two unknowns. We need another equation for the f and g. And it comes from this other initial condition. So let's have a look at that. Now to u by dt, we've got an expression for it just here. Um, put t is equal to zero in there. So ut of x zero is uh, minus c star f dash of x minus c star zero um, plus c star g dash of x plus c star times zero. And this right hand side is just uh, minus. Uh, let's pack, just factor out c star into minus f dash of x plus g dash of x. And we're given that ut of x0, that has to be 0. Now, c star is the wave speed that's generally non-zero, so what this equation is saying is that minus f dash plus g dash is 0, i.e. G dash of x has to be f dash of x, and this is our second equation. So now we can solve this. We've got two equations in two unknowns. There just needs to be an extra, a little bit of an integration going on. So let's integrate this last equation with respect to x, and the integral of g dash is of course g, and the integral of f is of course f, and there could be an integration constant. So let's add that in. Um, now substitute that into the first equation and see what it means. Right, so then f of x has to be little f of x plus g, but g is now little f of x plus c. And rewrite this. So this says 2 f of 2 little f of x minus c, so i.e. little f of x is a half big f of x minus a half c. Still don't know what big c is, but it turned out that it doesn't matter. It just cancels. So little f is this. Go back to the equation for little g. So then g of x has to be little f of x half big x minus a half c plus this c and so this minus a half plus one c is plus a half c now we now we know what the little functions f and g are in terms of given initial conditions big f and that zero now I'd put this back into the Allenbeer solution the Allenbeer says u is f of x minus c star t plus g of x plus c star t. Right, so whatever f and g are, maybe this, just put in x minus c star t for an x plus c star t for their argument. So u is f of this, well, this right hand side, half of big f of x minus c star t. Um, minus a half big integration constant plus g of x plus c star t which is this g evaluated at x plus c star t namely a half big f of x plus c star t plus a half big constant and now you see that integration constant just disappears. The particular solution, whatever that big F is given, the wave solution u is a half of big F travelling to the right plus a half of big F travelling to the left. And the initial condition uh, fixes the particular solution of that wave equation.